Here we're not talking about anything paranormal or some kind of an aura claimed to exist by various psychics because that is not at all what we're discussing or what's being investigated. These are actual biological and electromagnetic emissions coming from within various cells and produced by very specific chemical reactions. And as a matter of fact, this glow is much, much, much weaker than what we typically detect with an infrared camera. Or just to rephrase this, the same chemical response that makes fireflies glow technically happens in many different cells, but just to a much smaller extent. Although just to correct myself right away, in case of fireflies, they actually do produce something referred to as luciferase. You can learn about this in one of the previous videos in the description. But the overall principle is not so different in a sense that it basically relies on oxygen and certain proteins, which results in an oxidation reaction that then produces light. And so a typical firefly or controls the brightness of the light by controlling the amount of oxygen. And in theory, this would basically allow us to physically see stressed organisms, which would be super important in any medical field. You could use this to physically see what body part or what cell is potentially causing the distress. Here, the stressed body part or the stressed organ would physically light up and become easily visible. And so this remote monitoring of stress has a lot of potential application, medicine, animal husbandry, or even agriculture, because this also applies to plants. 